There's been a lot of concern about mail-in voting this year. That's why we decided to head to the Sacramento County Elections Office to see what exactly happens to your ballot once it gets here. Yes, so right now we get them ready for processing. So the first step we do is tray them, check for signatures. That signature is key. Every signature must match the one they have on file from either your registration or driver's license. But with hundreds of thousands of ballots, how does this team verify each and every one? They leave it up to Uncle Sam. Well, Uncle Sam and this machine. As it enters, it reads the barcode that's on your envelope. And it runs through, we have our camera here, so it takes a picture of your signature, which we're used your images to get them okayed. Over here where that green light is, that's the thickness. That will tell us how many, how thick the ballot is. If it's too thick, it kicks it out. It sorts each ballot by precinct. We got a lot from Elk Grove, so we're definitely seeing them all throughout the county. And can easily go through thousands in seconds. If signatures don't match, they'll be pulled for human eyes to verify or reach out to the voter. After signature verification, the ballot is prepared for extracting, processing, and tabulation. Right now, the elections office hasn't started tabulating ballots quite yet. We are testing our ballot counting machines right now but plan to in the coming days. This is under 24 hour surveillance. When they do, they'll be counted on the machines in this secure room that only six supervisors have access to. And while ballots are being counted, no one, not even me, will know the results until 8 p.m. on election night. Yes, if we had to wait until election day to count, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of ballots, it would be very difficult to get any results out. So this allows us to start counting, but no one, not even me, knows those results. By mailing in your ballot early, it will be counted in the system and included in election night results. The earlier we get those ballots back, uh, the earlier we'll have an idea on those preliminary election night results uh, on kind of what's going on. But getting it in early will also help ensure that your vote is counted. And it will give us a better idea. And two, if there is something wrong with the ballot, it also gives the voter more time to correct it.